Friday and welcome back to the Crochet Crown as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Week number one as our Better Together Afghan gets kicked off today. This part of the project was a combination of both Jeannie and I. Originally I came up with the concept but my stitches weren't working and it wasn't sitting flat. So Jeannie says give it to her, she'll fix it and she did. So we got ourselves off to a great start and I couldn't have done it without her. So it's the push and pull with Jeannie and I as we work better together and let's head on into the studio right now and let's get started. So welcome to the studio. I'm your host Mikey and I'm one of the designers of this. My other designer is Jeannie and we're good friends and we're also team members of the Crochet Crowd. We'd also like to acknowledge Svetlana. She put in a lot of time to help us get through this pattern in order just to break it down so that it can look as fabulous as this as well as the digital team at Yarnspirations for helping us to bring all of this particular stitch along together. Okay. So let's get right into it. You will notice the abbreviations. They're for the entire project itself. So you may see stuff in week number one that is here but it's actually not done in the particular instructions. So this is gonna be for everything. So page one and two has a bit of that. Also we noticed for last stitch alongs that we have is that people want the sizes of where they are just roughly dimensional wise. So it's a question that we know you're gonna ask. So we have provided that information for you. And then we get started on week number one. So this is kind of our goal for week number one. So you have this done and this was designed by both Jeannie and I. We both had input throughout the whole thing and sometimes one of us took over a section the other times that we worked together in order to have it to be cohesive. So this is a uh, week number one and as you go through the instructions you just check, 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 check. We left some tips in here that will help you uh, to be able to get through. So you'll see tip, 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 tip where there's a, an opportunity. So Svetlana helped us uh, convert this pattern into a crochet diagram that you'll see here. Everything in this stitch key matches what you see here. So this is our goal for week number one. I'd also recommend that we do a stitch engage right off the bat and you will notice that the gauge information here is here. 12 single crochets and 13 rows so you just have to do that. We also have videos on how to do gauging if that's something that's new for you. So we're gonna get ourselves started into week number one and without further ado let's head right on into the instructions. If you would like to follow along with that diagram that you can do so and everything should be good. If you have any comments to leave for us please leave it on this video and we will circle back and uh, we will try our best to answer all your questions here as well as on Facebook. As we begin to work on our instructions you will notice that we are going to travel in a counterclockwise condition as we're going all the way around this thing. And the reason why we know that is that see this stitch, uh, slip stitch right here that's a period and if you're not sure look at all the abbreviations here and just match the shape. And so because the slip stitch here is on the right hand side the chaining of anything becomes the first part of the instruction. So chaining of three and then four double crochets into this chain six loop. So you'll notice that when we follow it we'll be following in this direction. So the whole thing is gonna be like that. There are some exceptions and you'll see this in two later weeks where we have to turn our project and go in the opposite direction and when we turn our project we turn it upside down. So what you're looking at right now for week number one is the right side of the project. So it's the good side when you're working your way through it. Let's grab our hook and begin. As we begin the Better Together Afghan, a couple tips that I'll have for you. What I would recommend is that choose your colors and then write the color letter on the label itself. This will help you in the future when you're going to just quickly uh, just change out your yarns. You can verify that without having to read the instructions. So when it says to chain to B or change to B then you can just look for the B label. So I have all my yarn labeled up. I got two balls of every color. There's four colors and Daniel selected these and I am using Bernat Premium Yarn for this particular example. So we're gonna be using a five and a half millimeter size eye crochet hook today. Um, the gauge is listed on the pattern. There's also diagrams available to you and we're gonna start off with round number one. So let's begin. Let's begin round number one starting with a slip knot on the hook with color A. You're going to chain three and this will not count as a stitch. It's just a filler. And you in the third chain from the hook you're going to place 16 double crochets in that one. So let's just count those out. So we'll have one and two and do that until they're 16. Once you have your 16 on there so when you count don't count that chain three. It's just a filler and I want you to join it to the top of the first double crochet. I'm gonna show you how to fasten off. We are going to fasten off. So each time you do it I'm recommending that you use a tapestry needle. It'll help you not to um, have any tails falling out of your project. So just pulling it through 
like that and then just put this onto a tapestry needle. It just takes a few moments and uh, it saves the project later in the future for any tails that are coming out. So just turn it over to the back side to the wrong side and just glide it through just in the back. Don't let that needle hit the front side at all and just go through once and twice and three times a charm. So when I say fasten off or break um, what I want you to do is just to take it easy and do this kind of concept and then you can get rid of the tails. If you went over the top edge or top tail as you went around then good. You can snip that if not just take your tapestry needle and to weave it in. So there is the beginning round just kind of shift things and let's begin round number two. Let's begin round number two. Taking the new color you can go on to any one that you wish and just attach. Do a standing um, single crochet. So you can uh, attach chain one, one single crochet but if you put it onto the hook right now and pull through pull and then pull through two that's a standing single crochet it ends up looking much better. So you wanna do one single crochet in each of the stitches going around. So if there was 16 double crochets that went around there should only be 16 single crochets. I wanna give you a little tip. Right where you join creates this extra ugly space and the way to get rid of that space is to do a cheating technique. This is how you do it. Go into the space itself and go in pull through and hold it and then go into the top of the real stitch that you have. It may be a little tight because we just did some sewing. And once you have that in there just pull through all three loops and that fills in that space and then you can keep moving around so that you can have a really good look and it looks more finished as well. So continue to do one single crochet in each going all the way around. When you come all the way around I do want you to verify and I have verified it looks like it's buckling. That's normal and then I want you to slip stitch. So make sure there is 16 only. Slip stitch to the top of the beginning but do not fasten off and let's move on to round number three. Let's move along to round number three. We're gonna chain one and single crochet in the same stitch and then we're gonna single crochet in the next stitch. And here's the repeat pattern as we're going around. You're now going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then in the very next stitch you're gonna single crochet that one and into the next one as well. So there's gonna be two single crochets that separate these chain six uh, spaces. So chain six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, come into the next stitch, single crochet and single crochet the next one. And do that all the way around. You should have eight of these chain six spaces with two single crochets that separate them and I'll see at the end of round number three. When you get all the way around the last section is chain six so two, three, four, five, six and then slip stitch to the first single crochet and that will complete off that one that you have. So let's uh, now move on and we are now going to fasten this off and I'll see you on round number four with the color C. Let's begin round number four. I want you just to grab a chain six space and I want you to attach with a slip stitch and chain three. So one, two, three. So just kind of move it down. So just kind of shift it. You went around the chain so you should be able to do that. Go up and over top of this starting straggler and I want you to put in four more double crochets. So chain three plus the four double crochets give you the answer of five double crochet because chain three equals a double crochet. Once you have that done you are then going to just put that straggler aside and I want you to go down in between the space that you have right here and you're gonna treble. So you just wrap the hook and go into the space between the two single crochets. Right there and then come back up and then in the next chain six space you are going to apply five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five and then treble into the space between the two single crochets. And I want you to do that all the way around and I'll see at the end of this round. This is round number four. When you get all the way around don't forget that last treble that goes down in between 
and then you're just going to join to the beginning, top of the beginning chain three and then that's it. Fasten this off and we'll begin round number five with the color D. Let's begin round number five with the color D. Now attach to the beginning one of a double crochet in the shell work. I always like changing the location of where these um, slip stitches are when you go to start because then you don't end up with a solid line going through your project of where all the slip stitching is. So just choose any one of the beginning double crochets of a shell. And we are going to attach and chain three which will count as a double crochet. So one, two and three. The same one we want to apply another double crochet in and here's the repeat pattern going all the way around. The next three in a row will each be a double crochet. So one, two and three and then the next one will uh, starting of the new repeat again. So it's gonna be two double crochets in this one. So we have one and two and then the next three are by themselves. So one, two and three and I want you to repeat that going all the way around. So two into the next then three on its own, two into the next three on its own. This is round number five. I'll see you at the end of this round. When you get all the way around the last three will be one double crochet and that's just because you're keeping the right count. And we are going to get rid of this color for round number five. Join it to the top of the chain three. Fasten this off and let's move on to round number six. Let's move back to the color A for round number six. Again I like to attach somewhere new other than where I had just started as you see. So I'm just gonna attach right here. No rhyme or reason just doing it just to change the, the line. So one, two, three and double crochet into the same stitch and now this time it's just a expansion round. So the next four in a row will each be one double. So one, two, three and four and then the next one that you will have will be two double crochets. So one and two and then continuing along. So four on its own and then two, four and two. Please do that all the way around. I'll see you at the end of round number six. Coming up to the end of round number six and there's four doubles in a row and it's just a matter of keeping count. Just join it to the top of the chain three and then you're then going to get rid of this and move on to round number seven which will be the color B. Let's move on to round number seven using the color B and we're going to just attach anywhere you want to. And it's another expansion round but it's not double crochet, it's single. So start with the standing single. If you don't like that just uh, attach chain one and single crochet in the first or just do a standing single crochet and that counts as one of them and do another standing single crochet into the same one. So this time there's gonna be five stitches in a row. So one, two, three, four, and five and then the next one has two in there. Okay so the repeat pattern is two into the this one here that you just did and then five, two and five. Do this all the way around, round number seven. Once you get to the end of round number seven you have five in a row just slip stitch but do not fasten off. We're gonna begin round number eight which is going to allow us to transition to a square. We're now gonna start transitioning to a square to do this we have to consider the heights of the stitches when they're doing this. So we wanna be really small in the height here but then when it gets to a corner area you want it to expand out. So we have to watch that. So let's begin. We're gonna go nice and slow. Chain one and single crochet into the same one. That will count as one is one of eight. So just say that's eight or sorry that's one of eight. So one and single crochet the next two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And once you have that eight done we will now wanna get taller. So think about it, this is the very top. So we wanna get taller to compensate how it's starting to curve around. So the next three will be a half double crochet. So we're gonna say one, two and three. So you see it got a little taller and now the next three are going to be a double crochet. So one, two 
and three. See, a little more taller. And now the next one is going to be a corner. So the corners will be a two trebles to start into the same one. Chain two to physically turn one, two and just kind of turn your motif and in the same one again two more trebles. So let's go along one whole span. So it's gonna be the opposite to what you just did here. So you're gonna get from taller to smaller to taller again. So the next three will be each a double crochet. So one, two, three. The next three will be a half double crochet. So we have one, two and three. And now we're back at the single crochet. So the next eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And now we're gonna get taller. So the next three are half double crochet. So one, two, three. The next three are double. So one, two, three. And now it's the new corner. So it's going to be two trebles to start. Chain two to turn, turn your motif and in the same one two more trebles. And I want you to do that all the way around. Okay, so you're gonna see that you're going from a square or sorry from a circle to a square. Please do this all the way around. I'll see you at the end of round number eight. When you get all the way back around you're gonna have the last corner but you need to get yourself to the single crochet. So you're just maintaining what you already know. So the next three here after the corner is three double crochet and then the last three stitches that are left is one half double crochet in each. And you're going to join to the beginning and it says that we're gonna fasten off. So join to the beginning single crochet and weave in your ends and you should just kind of pull it down. Just push it, stretch it out a little bit and then you're good to go. It should be sitting flat at this moment. Let's begin round number nine using the color A. As we continue along in this tutorial we're going to go to the color A for round number nine. And in number nine what's, hap what's happening is that we need to change ourselves from an even number to an odd number. Jeannie and I have learned over the years that when you are doing fancy footwork stitches it's always about having an odd number in order to make it work. It's not always the case but majority of it is. So right now you're seeing an even number. So when we go to count the stitches we're not counting the chain two spaces that are on the sides. It's just what's in between the spaces from one side to another. So as we begin round number nine you're gonna notice that we're gonna have a lopsided corner. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna um, uh, join and one side of the corner is gonna have a total of uh, what is it? One double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and that's kind of odd right? Because usually it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet but in this case we want the one side to be only one double crochet so that we can get that odd count that we want. So without further ado let's begin number nine using the color A. So let's begin round number nine and let's attach and we're gonna chain three. So one, two, three and then we're gonna double crochet in the same one. So the odd number that's in the corner will be when it's going after the corners turning. So when we go into this one here it'll be uh, one double crochet, chain two and join. So it's only gonna be the second half that will be one double crochet or sorry that'll be two double crochet. You're just gonna put one double crochet in each of the stitches all the way across to the next corner. Let me take you to the next corner make sure you understand this and then we'll move on in round number nine. So as the next one is the corner let's just verify. So the first time into the corner it's one double crochet only, chain two and then this side of the corner is two double crochet and that's what we mean by being odd and that allows us to get the odd number that we need. Then you just do one double crochet into each and do the same thing for each of the corners and I'll see you at the end of round number nine. When you get all the way around don't forget you have to finish that first corner. So we're going to just 
one double crochet only to keep it an odd number, chain two and then slip stitch to the top of the chain three and fasten this off and let's begin round number 10 using the color C. Let's begin number 10. Let's just join. So when we go to do these, this particular pattern that we're working on our pattern is that I want you to know that when we're going and doing this it's usually the end of we're doing the first part of a corner and then finishing it when we come back around. So just always remember that unless I state otherwise. So we're gonna chain three which counts as your first double and then double crochet into the same one like that. So now we're gonna do some front post and back post work. So just in the next one do a front post double crochet. So wrap the hook come in through the side and then back through and then pull through two and two and now the next one will be a back post. So make sure that you do try to get these tail ends in. So coming from the back side through the side of the next post and then back out and double crochet and the next one's a front post. So in through the side through the front side and the next one from the back. You're gonna do this all the way across and then the corners will end up being two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and because we have changed it to an odd count the very last one here right here should be a front post double crochet. So just maintain this pattern going all the way around. This is round number 10 and I'll see you at the end of this round. So come to the end of round number 10 you're going to chain two and then join it to the top of the first chain three. I wanna show you a mistake I did and a mistake that I did not correct but I just course corrected. So I like to design patterns where there's opportunities to be able to change things without really impacting it too much. So for example the one side here I ended up with a with a wrong stitch. So here I ended up with an extra stitch. So when I go to try to simplify it down you can barely see that it's there but then that's because the camera's on it and you can see it. So to, I made two become a back stitch. So if I was to make two become the front stitch you'll see that really quite obvious but if you do the back stitch like this um, like a back um, post it can really hide it really well. So once we get building onto this that will kind of disappear in your eyes because more of this afghan will catch your attention. So if you're looking for projects or 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 concepts like this where you can cheat the system. Look for stuff like that where you can change it in the back in order to do it or you can do two together um, stitches if you wanted to um, but that was the way that he did it. So I had to actually maintain this pattern to do that. So one side was off. I don't know why but I'm not gonna of course correct that at this moment because I know I can get away with it in the future because I've done that so many times in the past. Let's say uh, get rid of this yarn and move on to round number 11 using the color A. Moving on to round number 11 using the color A again. Come right into a chain two space in the corner and attach it. Do a standing single it looks better or you can just attach chain one, one single crochet. Your call on what you would like to do. Now you're going to do that and you are then going to apply one single crochet in each one of the stitches going to the other corner. In the corners you will do one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and you'll do this all the way around. Nice simple round and then when we come back around we'll just join, we'll uh, chain two and then join. I'll see you at the end of round number 11. Coming to the end of round number 11 just one single crochet in the final corner, chain two and then join to the beginning single crochet. And we're gonna get rid of this yarn and move on to round number 12 using the color B. Let's move along and using the color B attach it to the beginning um, chain two space of a corner, chain three and one double crochet into the same one. So that is counted as two double crochet. You're going to apply one double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across and then in the corners two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and that's all it is for round number 12. Continue this and I'll see you at the end of this round. So let's just chain two at the end of this round and slip stitch it to the top of the chain three. And we're going to finish off this color and begin the final round of this week of doing this project. So let's continue along. Let's begin with color A here for the final round for this week number 13. Let's just join it to a chain two space and do a standing single crochet it looks nicer. Or you can just chain one, one single depending on what you would like to do. So now we're going to uh, do these front post uh, trebles that are gonna reach down and give like a like a frosted like side of a cake look. So how we're going to do that is that we're just going to wrap the hook twice and coming into the first single crochet that you have right here with the same color with the pink and then you're just gonna do a front post 
treble. So just going around the post only and coming back up. And that's going to count when you're going to count this. See how there's two double crochets here? This is going to count as the first one of the two. So the next three are going to be a single crochet. So one, two, and three. And watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a two together front post treble. So we're going to come back and get this one that we just did. So wrap it and do the same one. And pull through two and two. But do not finish it. Just leave it so that there's two left on the hook. And then you're gonna jump over three. So just skipping one, two, three, go to the fourth, wrap the hook and go into the fourth and pull through and pull through two and two and hold. You're now going to yarn over and pull through all three and that was a two together. So that, that one counts as the very next stitch in behind. So the next three in a row are each gonna be a single crochet. So one, two and three and then you're gonna do that again. So it's just the first time that it's just on their own and then the very last one on the, on the end of the other side will also be on its own. So just wrap in the hook twice, come into the same one that you were just going in down here. Pull through two and two but do not finish it. Hold it, jump over three, go to the fourth. Pull through two and two and hold. There should be three, pull through all three. That counts as the very next one in behind. So just single crochet the next three. Please do this all the way to the first corner and I'll show you how to finish off the side and then you start again and then I'll leave the rest for you to complete for this round. So I'm coming close to the other side and I'm coming into the last one. So that it's just a matter of keeping the right counts which is happening which is awesome. And I'm just gonna skip and do the next three. So one, two and three. So remember what I said in the very beginning that there was two and we skipped over the first two or we skipped over the first double crochet. There's one double crochet left but you're still going to do your front post treble around the existing one which will then count as that last treble and then coming into the corner you're just gonna single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then you're gonna restart again. So to restart, wrap the hook, jump to the first single crochet down here, front post it and that counts as the first double crochet that comes out of the corner and then you're just gonna single crochet the next three. So one, two, three and then start again. So around the same one and then wrap again and skip three and go to the fourth over and then that will count as that next stitch. So single crochet in the next three. So please do this all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round and that will conclude today's video and we'll see you at the end of this round. When we get all the way back around you're just doing your front post treble which counts as your last double crochet. Single crochet right into that chain two space, chain two and join and that's it for this week and you're gonna get rid of this color. We're gonna move on to some Catherine wheel stitching into the square next time and I will see you then. Until then get your homework done and we hope to see you again real soon right on our social media whether it's your inspirations or the crochet card. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. So that's it for this week here in the Better Together week number one and we're gonna head on into week number two next time. We'll see you again and we hope to see your work in progress. Please use our hashtags, The Crochet Crowd, as well as Your Inspirations on Instagram. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.